Hi, this is Matthew Weatherby, and first off, I'd like to apologize because I think the trade winds have kind of gotten active again, so I know that doesn't make for ideal audio, but that's the price you pay to have this beautiful North Shore view here. So, um, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but there's another thing that could potentially be deficient in a vegan diet and not just a vegan diet a lot of diets these days like uh, even like paleo and things that eat meat could have the same issue but um, that is iodine which is a very very helpful substance used by the body it helps with thyroid function, which helps in the production of hormones and whatnot. And I'll tell you straight out, I'm pretty frustrated. I, I think part of my problem is I'm super active and have a fast metabolism. So things hit me a lot faster than they hit normal people. And it just seems like it's been one thing after another since I've started this diet. It's only been like three or four months and I keep figuring out things that I wasn't hitting good enough and I fix that and then something else goes and so this one's kind of funny you may recall a little earlier I said how I didn't have enough sodium because of my own preferences of having more plain stuff and I took care of that situation and it helped well since I'm always eating at places like Whole Foods and um, Mana Foods and Down to Earth Foods, all these really good health food stores with all kinds of fresh organic ingredients and whatnot, almost everything I have tends to have sea salt instead of regular table salt. And strangely enough, for some reason, the iodine in sea salt has been depleted over the years. I don't know how that happened, but and this regular run-of-the-mill table salt that the mainstream people use has iodine added to it. So I guess it got depleted too, but then they purposely put it in there because they noticed some health issues and when they did that it took care of a lot of them. So you know I do get my salted cashews from Costco because they're cheap, so I guess that's one good source of iodine, but guess it wasn't enough but there's like a lot of simple things you can do you can get seaweed and if you're scared of all the crazy toxic things we've dumped in the ocean over the years and don't want to go the seaweed route there's like this little like droplet thing of like liquid iodine or it's like 600 servings or something for only 10 bucks so you could probably pick that up at any of the nearest health food stores in your area. I'm sure Whole Foods would have it, but I'll probably get mine at Mana because I like that place better. But yeah, that just it helps the thyroid, which is useful in hormone production. So I've mentioned before how important hormones are. Like that's one of the reasons I always said make sure you get your healthy fats because they're necessary in hormone production and these people that go anorexic or try to like have the 5% body fat physique for their fitness modeling or bodybuilding contests that's that's not healthy like I'm not saying get obese and wreck your joints and strain your organs I'm saying just have enough healthy fats in your diet so that you can produce the hormones your body needs. So no, just keep it reasonable. Aristotle's golden mean once again. You people always go all crazy with your pendulum going all the way this way or all the way that way. Things black and white and most of the time balance is better. So yeah, just, just bringing that to your attention that iodine is yet yeah, one more thing you should focus on and it's not solely a vegan thing but as a vegan, there'll possibly be less variety in your diet because you'll be focusing so much on plant-based things. So 
it's just something to be aware of. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. I think I'm gonna enjoy the remaining minutes of my vacation here before I mean, of my days off before going back to work. So have yourself a great day.